Good evening everyone um, and welcome in to our Thursday evening live here from the lily pad um, and um, sorry that I'm a minute or two late and um, there's always the juggle between getting the dinner on and what time is it going to be cooked and all of those sorts of things and coming live so we have things simmering away on the stove um, while we come and do some crafting. So, um, hello, my name is Helen Jennings. Um, I am an um, independent stamping up demonstrator based here in the UK. And as always on a Thursday evening, we come along to do a little bit of crafting with you um, using whatever happens to be our product of the week. And our product of the week this week is this absolutely stunning um, brightly gleaming sweet. So you can see how stunning it is. I've turned to this page in my catalogue so many times that the page is now falling out. That's how much I love it. Um, and so this um, gorgeous sweet comprises of a stamp set, which is this Christmas gleaming stamp set with all these fabulous baubles, these two long baubles, and this little small sort of more squat bauble that's there. Um, these really useful, um, this really useful little holly sprig just here, um, that I think is gonna get used a lot. It's fabulous for coloring in, water coloring, using your blender pens, all sorts of things. Um, a nice little border there that we used on Monday's card, a little sort of splattery stamp just there that we might use today. This nice Merry Christmas with this sort of refer reverse stamp. Um, going on that so the, the black is the bit that stamps so the uh, Merry Christmas actually is whatever cardstock you've got underneath showing through underneath that stamped image um, so a really nice stamp set to go along with that stamp set there is a pair of punches so not just one but two so you get the long punch and you also get this little more squat shaped punch um, so you get both of those punches that fit with those stamped images in that stamp um, set and it they are they're great um, because you can really easily be punching out lots of different baubles and things for your projects so you've got your stamp set you've got your punches we're going to be using both of those um, this afternoon this evening whatever <coughs> stage of the day we are at I am just looking around for my pack of paper. I was working on a different project before I cleared the decks um, to uh, to start crafting. Um, so some of the, pa the, the papers are here somewhere, but I will find them in a minute. We're going to be using some of them, but these papers are just stunning. Um, so here's a bit of a taster of some that we're going to be using this evening. You've got that lovely copper foiled effect on there. Um, you've got sort of striped background. So one side is copper foiled and the other is a nice pattern of some sort, whether some of them are quite masculine patterns, others of them um, are far more feminine. Um, that's a really lovely one. So some really beautiful papers in the pack and I will spot them in a minute they will they will come to uh, they will come into view in just a second because I certainly had my hands on those earlier as I was cutting these bits of strips of paper and things out ready for this evening's live aha uh -huh. is that them there no that's a scrapbook page it's not what we're looking for at all um let's just turn this page over and you'll be able to see the different patterns and things here but what you can't tell is how beautifully foiled all of these are oh look look see i knew i had them out ready for you i was so organized that's why i can't find them i was too organized now obviously i haven't got a whole pack here um, because i've been using some of these papers and um, this is one that is currently on back order we're waiting for more supplies to come in unsurprisingly because everybody wants it so as i say one side is this beautiful copper foiling and on the other side you get these really useful patterns that are really generic actually going throughout the year that they're not just for Christmas obviously you know they've got lots of baubles on like this one has that maybe sort of tie it down to Christmas a little bit but the pattern on the back certainly could be used throughout the year and you've got this really nice um, green and copper 
pattern there but these fabulous stars on the back this one is copper stars on a blue background like navy background and these really nice patterns so lovely lovely papers um, and we are going to be making good use of those this afternoon so we have the papers we have the stamp set we have the pack twin pack of punches what else have we got in this particular suite it's quite a big suite you've got this hammered embossing folder and we will be using that um, this evening but you can see how you get this fabulous sort of almost like snake skin effect on that foil there when you run that through with the um, hammered embossing folder you've got the wonderful ribbon um, that has this copper Merry Christmas running all the way through it so a very vanilla ribbon with that Merry Christmas um, detail printed into it in copper um, you've got these lovely stars these little um, designer element stars and this copper foil um, foil elements that are just it's it, all together it is just an absolutely beautiful suite of products um, so we're going to have fun playing with those this evening um, that is just a piece of card that we're going to be using in a minute as for one of our projects this was our card that we made on Monday so this was the one that we cased the catalogue so we moved away from that beautiful foil um, and the mossy meadow and the pretty peacock and the knight of navy and the copper foiling we moved right away from those colours with our card on Monday and did this really bright um, bauble card. That's really lovely. Um, I did give you a quick flash of these on Monday. These are currently um, two of the projects that are in the county tour that is going round. So if that's something that you come along to, if you've not yet been, um, you've, you've got that one to look forward to. There's this lovely 3D ornament here using those punches using those foil elements really beautiful and that's just made up with lots of punched elements folded you've got a little version here and that one is just five baubles scored in folded in half and then stuck back to back to create that little bauble so really lovely you can do some lovely 3d things with it as well as creating fabulous cards and things so a quick slurp of my tea and without further ado let's go on to have a look at what we're going to play with this evening now i'm aware i'm going to need ooh, to keep a little bit of an eye on um, the light my laptop is telling me that live video has been interrupted i'm hoping that that's not the case it doesn't appear to be the case on my phone so we will just carry on as um, as if that has never popped up and um, I think the first card we'll do is we will do this little one in mossy meadow now I've actually made myself a DL shaped card um, I've been looking I sort of follow quite a few challenges and things card challenges and things um, online and um, I've not done any for a couple of weeks because I've been so busy but I did notice this week that the paper players um, card challenge was to do a tall skinny card um, and as I was sort of reading that and I think the email came through earlier that's sort of saying you've still got time to enter have you yet made your tall skinny card or a Facebook post or something um, I thought oh a tall skinny card let's do a tall skinny card on our Facebook live today so that is what I have got planned just here for us to do um, just looking around because some of the bits and pieces that I've got to one side seem to have gone walkabouts but we'll find those in a minute okay so what have I got here I've got some scraps of card so I've got a tall skinny DL shaped piece of mossy meadow card and I've created that by um, I've got a full width of an A4 card and I've cut it at 20 centimeters and I've scored it at 10 so I've got a DL card that now measures 10 centimeters um, by 21 centimeters and that will fit into a standard DL envelope here in the UK I don't quite know how DL envelopes um, go on 
than the rest of the world whether you get DL size but we certainly do here in the UK and um, so that's what that tall skinny size is just there that's a DL envelope and then I've cut a piece of this paper now on the back it's got this beautiful sort of almost almost sort of floral star shapes with copper foiling but on this occasion I'm going to turn it round and use that stripey side because that is really quite striking those stripes on there so that is the side we're going to use to put onto our card front and actually before I do that I think what I'll do is I'll just lay that on there I won't stick that on there yet um, I will come back to that in a moment because th th what I thought we'd do is rather than using the um, copper foiling that is evident throughout the papers um, that we'd have a bit of gold elements to our baubles and such like so we have our <coughs> Christmas gleaming stamp set and we're going to take some of these bauble um, stamps and we're going to gold emboss them rather than um, copper emboss them because well, why not why not have some gold absolutely no reason why not so I've got my Versamark ink I've got the first of my baubles and this is the sort of almost crisscross checkered pattern on this particular bauble so we will stamp that onto this piece of Knight of Navy card and then we'll take some gold embossing powder scoop it up on our spoon sprinkle it on there we got enough on there Let's... I think so let's just switch on our heat tool Hello Sarah, lovely to have you join me this evening. Do pop on and say hello. And if you're watching live, do share out these videos. Um, oh, and hi, hi to Andy. So Andy is my cousin. Um, so hi to you too, Andy, and hi Sarah. Hello Molly lovely to see you all so yeah and do hit share on these videos as well if you think you've got anybody else that um, you know that would be interested in them that is a huge help to me in um, getting my name out there obviously um, beavering away here in Northamptonshire it's quite nice to get my name out there um, and even if you're living in far-flung places of the world um, where you're never going to buy anything from me <laughs> hey Sarah um, it all helps getting me noticed if people have liked, shared, commented, um, done all of those sorts of things. So um, so thank you for everybody that does comment and share and bring other people in to say hello. I'm very grateful. So there we have our first little gold embossed bauble. Hello, Carol. Got all the cousins on today. Goodness me, it's like a family affair. Right, so this is my second bauble. And this one has got sort of a swirly pattern on this one. They're really um, ornate, these baubles. They've got fabulous um, detail in them. Let's give that a good flick. Heat up our gun again. and pow watch that turn never quite loses its magic watching embossing powder turn particularly gold i think of all of the embossing powders gold is the one that has um baking while you watch amanda and um, gold is the one that has the most wow factor I hope you're baking something yummy I'm sure it's not slimming world friendly, whatever it is. Um, right, so let's line that 
bauble up in that punch and punch that one out. So that's two. That's our two tall baubles. Then we're going to take this, and I will clean these stamps eventually. I know I'm just throwing them back on the box for now, but I will clean them before I put them away. <coughs> um, I think we're going to go with a different colour probably for this one. Let's bring out this pretty peacock. So those two have both been done on Knight of Navy card. Let's do a little bauble on some pretty peacock. Thank you, Molly. Here we are, give that a bit of a flick. Heat that one up. Now I did slightly over stamp that one on this top edge, but that's not going to matter. Oh, Macmillan, chocolate brownies, lemon drizzle, and Welsh cakes. No, that definitely is not Slimming World friendly. But I'm sure we'll go down a storm for your Macmillan cake sale. So, always a worthy cause. So let's line that one up in there. So there we have a little pretty peacock bauble. Again, gold embossed. And then I think what we'll do is we will take is that what i'm looking for no um let me just have a little bit of a wonder because i do believe that i'd picked up some gold foil but what did i do with it oh put it away again that was some um, that was very efficient of me wasn't it Let's get a little bit of gold foil and I'm going to just cut off a strip of this gold foil for now because I'm going to punch out, I think we'll have, you, Molly I'm with you there, L love doing anything creative. And we're going to punch out I think a couple of gold baubles just these little ones and then what I think we'll do with those is we will grab our hammered metal embossing folder we will put the lid on our gold embossing powder for a moment just so that we don't send that flying all over the place And we will run our two little baubles through our big shot with our hammered metal embossing folder. So let's pick that up and the um, big shot up off the floor. I do need just to grab one more thing from my tool bag to go with that. Um, Let's just find that from where it was yesterday when it got packed back in here. Here it is. Because we need to make up, as always with your big shot, you need to make up the correct sandwich. Um, and although you can get um, a special base plate for our new 3D embossing folders, a special plate that you can use with them, I've not yet added that to my collection. But what I've found works very well is one to move my tea out of the way so that I don't knock that flying and two we will put our base plate our embossing folder with our punched out um, baubles and then that rubber mat and a one clear acrylic plate and hopefully when we open up our embossing folder, we will have one, two beautifully hammered metal embossed baubles. Gorgeous. So let's put these back together for now. Let me pop that. 
butter fingers. Let's put that over there for a minute. Oh, I've just dropped all sorts of little bits on the floor. So excuse me one moment while I pick some of those up. Oh dear. Bald Dash and Piffle. Right, um, there we go. I think that's those picked up now. Okay, so we have a whole little array of baubles. So we've got our gold embossed ones. We've got our hammered metal ones. We've got our piece of stripy paper. I've also got here some um, sprigs that I've actually cut from gold glimmer paper. So we've got some of those ready to add into our mix. The other thing I thought we might do just to add a little bit of sparkle to um, our paper. Um, so we've put some gold embossing on there as well. But let's first of all do our greeting. And for our greeting, I'm actually going to bring in the Stamparatus because what I want to do is I want to do a gold embossed Merry Christmas. So I want to make sure that I've got a really well inked, well stamped image. So I'm going to do this on my Stamparatus so that I can stamp it more than once. And I think we will do that onto a piece of pretty peacock. So I'm just going to anchor a piece of Pretty Peacock card in there and I just need it. Let's come over just a smidge more. Perfect. So we'll have it coming just there. So we are going to ink it up with our um, Versamark because what we want is for every all that area that is black on this picture um, we want to be gold, gold embossed. So we need it to be really quite well inked. So we're going to ink that up and stamp it. Give it a good press down. And then just for good measure, we're going to ink it up and stamp it again. And because our stamp hasn't moved and our paper is anchored down, that hopefully won't have moved anywhere. And we should have a nice covering of our Versamark sticky ink on there. So let's just check that out. Hopefully that will have covered that beautifully. Let's give that a bit of a flick just to take off any bits that are in places we don't want before we heat this up. And let's see if our Merry Christmas appears. Nice. So there we have a beautiful gold Merry Christmas with that pretty peacock peeking out. And I'm just going to take my longer scissors. So these, these aren't my snips. These are my slightly longer scissors just because I can take a really long cut and keep it hopefully nice and straight. So there we are. We have our Merry Christmas that we're going to add in to our mix there. Let's just move that out of the way for a minute. So let's have a think. So on here we're going to have our baubles. And obviously, as with all things, we're going to have um, an odd number because you always want them to be an odd number. So sort of coming something like that. We've got our glimmer sprigs that we're going to have coming round and about somewhere and we're going to have our Merry Christmas greeting. But what I thought we'd do is do a few little splatterings round about there 
of um, gold embossing with this sort of just splattery stamp. So I'm just going to randomly, not really sure where they're going to land, um, do those, that little splatter, that little delicate splatter. And let's How many did we do? Is that about right? Now I have overstamped those slightly in some places, so let's just take our paintbrush and brush off those lines that we don't want before we heat it, because obviously once we heat it, that will be stuck then and it will be there to stay. Just brushed a bit too much off of that one. Actually, it's, it's quite easy with the small stamps to press a little bit too hard. Um, but that's okay. Let's just... And this is just intended to be um, a little bit of a background element on the back of our paper. So let's just heat those up and make those pop. So obviously this paper hadn't got any gold foiling or anything on it so we've put a bit of our own gold elements in the background there. Okay, let's put the lid back on this embossing powder so that we don't. Um, knock that everywhere. It seems a shame, doesn't it, to uh, be sticking this foiled paper down. But just sometimes it has to be done. Because I do really like this striped and I like all of the patterns in this paper on both sides. So there we are, there's our striped, slightly shimmery gold paper on there. Let's come back to thinking where we wanted these. Let's lay them out again. And some of them I'm going to put up on dimensionals and some of them I'm going to have stuck to the card base. Do I want that one down the bottom there? Yes, I think so. So let me find my Tombow and let's put this. So this sort of hammered gold effect I just got tucked in the back there so it's sort of peeping out. Like this. And then I think we'll find some dimensionals for some of these baubles. One coming over this side. And peel the backs off this one. We'll have that one sort of standing up this side. And then we'll put some dimensionals on this one. Let's have a look. Um, I think I'm just going to put two at the middle because there's sort of these are raised either side, so I need it to go in the middle of and stick to the card at the back. So um, bring it over That's slightly to this side, like that, because then we've got our. Merry Christmas just here that we can stick onto the top of here and then we've got our little bits of um, glimmery
gold glimmer card that we will attach around the edges. There's one. We have this one coming out there. And we'll have one more um, coming down there, probably. Now, I did bring some of the double sided Pretty Peacock ribbon that comes from the Pretty Peacock um, suite. So I'm wondering if we do want a bow on any of our baubles. Let's let's do that once more with feeling, shall we? Fingers are a bit gluey now. Yeah, I quite like that ribbon. It's a beautiful ribbon, actually. And let's let's find a glue dot for our, our bow. We need to just trim that off a little bit more. So there we have a tall skinny card with that gorgeous stripy paper and we've created all these lovely bows using stamps and embossing powder and that embossing folder and some glimmer card um, but using gold rather than copper but the details on those stamps are just absolutely beautiful. This one looks quite like an urn. You could chop the bottom off of that bauble, make it flat bottomed, and you could you could with all of those, couldn't you? You could also you could almost make you could make like sort of urns with them or perfume bottles. Really gorgeous. So there's our first Christmas card um, using the stamps and say some embossing powder, that embossing folder. Um, really lovely. So let's just pop some of this to one side while we then have a look at our next project. And for the next one we are going to use some of the papers and things. So let me just tuck that to one side for now. Have a nice little slurp of my tea again. have two dogs here with me today because I don't only have our dog Taz but I've also got my grand puppy Maya who's here to to stay with us for a couple of days so she's very busy and um, trying to work out what we are doing here and what is actually going on um, and who am I talking to I think is what she's trying to work out I'm going to actually pop this light on and um, hopefully that might help a little bit. Let's have a look because yeah, I am aware that it's getting a little bit dark. That won't do much for the, the colours, but it might help us to see what we're doing. Right, what I've got here is two pieces of um, Knight of Navy card that I've cut both of them at eight inches um, square. So they're both cut at eight inches square and on this one I don't know whether you can see these pencil lines what I've done with this one is I've measured in an inch from each edge and created a um, drawn a square so that square is one inch in from the edge and then I've got another inner square that is actually two inches in from the edge. So I've measured in one inch from the side and then another inch in. And what I'm going to do now is attempt, oh, Maya's going to have a little bit of a, a bit of a cry, a little bit of what are you doing, Nanny? Who are you talking to? Right, I'm actually going to score along this 
square just here this outer square does that go yes I need to line that up all the way round and again and once more with feeling Okay, so that is all the way round. I have scored on that um, inch mark. I don't know whether you can pick that up on that other side just there where I've scored that square. I need to then do the same with the inner square. So this square that's two inches in from each edge, I need to do that again. So obviously where my point is on my scoring blade, I'm gonna line that up with the line going across. I could do this with a ruler and a um, and an embossing tool, or do it on a on my scoring mat. But for now, I'm just going to do it on here. And once more. Okay, so now if we turn that over, you should be able to see that I've got one scored box there and another inner scored box just there. So that's my score lines. I'm then going to move this out of the way and because otherwise I shall cut through it. And I need my metal ruler and I'm going to take my craft knife and I am going to cut from that, from that outer box, that corner on that outer box to this corner on the outer box and I'm going to cut all the way through from those two points. I could again have done this on the trimmer but for this occasion I think it's probably easier done with a knife and a ruler and we're going to go the other way as well so we've got a, a cross cut right across the centre of that card I'm wondering if I don't need a new blade in this knife but we will see has that gone not quite just there that's see actually that bit's going to be hidden so I'm not particularly worried about that so what I've got now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to on this outer fold line I'm going to fold that in that's not quite gone to the corner that's better so fold that in to give us an outer frame and then on this inner bit I'm going to fold that one inwards so what I end up with is sort of a box a little bit like that and then that will sit on there to create like a 3d frame and then what we're going to do is we're going to decorate that 3D frame. Um, I will need another piece of card to sit in the middle there. So actually, I think I might cut um, another piece of paper. Let's have a look um, which was the one that I wanted, that one. And I will grab quickly another piece of um, do, do, do. Excuse me while I just rummage around looking for 
another piece of Knight of Navy cardstock and I need to cut this one so that it is, I believe, six inches. Yes. Let me just cut a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that is six inches by six inches. Just like that. And that is then going to sit neatly in there and cover up those sort of a little bit ugly um, triangles at the bottom there. So we will come round and start to, we'll put that together in a moment. Before we do that, I've actually already cut some strips of um, designer series paper. And these strips, these are three quarters of an inch wide. And if you notice these ones, I've mitered them on both ends. Um, these ones, I've not yet done that. So what I did to make that sort of mitered end, I know that my strip of paper is three quarters of an inch wide. So I took my ruler and I measured along the top of my strip of paper and made a mark at three quarters of an inch across at the top there. I don't know whether you can just about see that mark just there. And then I took my trimmer and I put that mark in my trimmer and this corner so that they were both on a line and then I cut those off and that gave me a beautiful mitered angle and then of course we need to do exactly the same thing at the other end so let's measure in from three quarters of the way along it weight inches long three quarters of an inches long and make a little mark take a trimmer and line that up so i've got two pieces of paper here at the same time so i'm cutting both at the same time so for that point is in sitting in the cutting groove as is our pen mark and we'll cut those two okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pieces of paper and we are going to line them up on this outside frame so making sure they are in the center just a smidge more this way I think that's about right once we've got the first one down the rest should follow a bit easier so then let's put some nail on the back of that one and then that one should match up we've cut that right nicely with that angle just there might be a little bit out but if there is a little bit of a gap if it is slightly out we can alter that or cover it up with a bit of a embellishment or something And I do believe that that snail may just have run out. But luckily, I was doing a video earlier on different adhesives, so I have a snail refill to hand. So I'm going to take that out of the box. I'm going to remove that piece of yellow cardboard from in there. I'm going to pop that in there, and then our snail is good to go. Last but not least, let's line this one up. And that's not bad going. So now, when we fold all this in, we've got a beautiful frame going around the outside and there's just that bit there that's not quite um, matched up, but that's not bad. 
And as I say, we can cover those up with embellishments and things. So let's find our um, six inch square. I'm just going to put some Tombow on these triangles just here. And pop that in there. And what that will do is it will give that some stability and shape just like that and we're going to take this back bit and put that on the back now I could have made this a card so we, we could turn make this into a card if we want to you could just have it as a 3d frame whichever you prefer but for now um, I'm just going to put some Tombow all over the back of here and stick that to this background and let's even that up make sure that that's flat on the bottom there and flat on the sides so there we have a beautiful frame with that beautiful paper now I'm going to cut a piece of this paper so that so that background square of um, Knight of Navy is six inches. I'm going to cut this so it is um, five and three quarters. So I apologise that this is all in inches if you are a centimetre and millimetre type of a girl or boy. Um, but you could work out, we could work out equivalents. So I'm just going to then stick that piece of paper in there as a background piece so let's do that and again I'm covering up this absolutely stunning foil paper but I need that background to be not plain but um, a little less little less ostentatious possibly than um oh than, than the foil and I've again dropped all my little bits all over the floor. Have I dropped them all? Have I managed to retain some of them? I spent ages this afternoon fussy cutting little baubles and I keep throwing them on the floor. It's not good is it? Okay so in here I have got um, a copper foil cut Merry Christmas that I've cut from the um, Merry Christmas to All set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Tombow and squiggle that on this mat and then dip all these, this foil Christmas through the glue to pick some glue up on the background so that that's nice and sticky. And I'm going to have Christmas going across the back there. And I'm going to do the same with the happy. And we'll have that coming across here. More haste, let speed, Helen. That's it. So we have happy and we have Christmas in the background of our frame just there. As I said, and earlier on, I cut out all these little baubles. So from the and this paper here, with all these little baubles and stars and things, I cut out a selection of those. So we're going to layer some of those up down here. And let's just put in a few of our little baubles and things. And these are all very different. Some of them are plainer than others. They've got the nice copper um, tops on them. I've got very sticky fingers now, which means that my baubles are sticking to my fingers. I don't want you sticking to my fingers. I want you sticking to my frame. This one is rather lovely. This one's got quite a bit of copper foiling on it. Um, 
I think this little one here will perhaps pop a dimension along the back of it. Raise that one up a bit. This is a lovely sort of got green star. Um, might put a dimension on the back of that one as well. Again with that copper foiling on. We'll have that one there. What else have we got in here? This is a tiny little blue one. Um, I think again I'll put a dimension on the back of that one so that we've got some sort of sitting back, some a bit more raised forward. Let's have that one. A little bit wonky. Let's have you there a little bit. Okay. Is that all the ones that I've got in here at the moment? Oh no, I've got another little one in there. Where shall we have him? We'll have him coming down this bottom bit just here, I think. Somebody's sounding a little bit cross out there, aren't they? Um, then I think we'll put on a couple of these little stars. So we'll have one here. And one here. And one down here. So we've got a little selection of baubles in the bottom there. I will need to get my rubber out when this is some... Um, dried off completely and just rub off some of that glue where that's sticking around about. So that's sort of some little bits in the inside of our frame and then for the outside of our frame what I thought we would do, um, let's have a look what have we got, let's, let's take this paper and let's punch couple of these baubles out of this paper and we'll also punch a couple out of some Knight of Navy and then what we'll do is we will score these along the centre here one, two, and our paper as well, three, four, let's fold these in half. Tombow and we'll do one card bauble and one paper bauble and then one card bauble and one paper bauble glue on the back of here 
and stick that on our frame just here. Hold that down for a minute. We've got like a little 3D bauble just there. I think again we'll bring in some of our ribbon. Let's find. Um, I might put that on with a mini dimensional actually, just to give it a bit of height. And there. Oh, my microphone's just pinged off. I think I want one of those. I think I'm going to go with a smaller bauble. We'll perhaps do a, a similar thing with a, um, a smaller bauble. Where's the smaller bauble? Just here. Let's choose another paper and this time let's go for what shall we have? Um, hmm, shall we have go with the green. Let's go with these green and again let's have a couple of paper ones and I think we'll stick with the pretty peacock rather than bringing too much of the green in. Will that work? I think so. Let's punch out a couple of those and again let's bring in our trimmer and just score those at the centre. One. And last but not least, it's stuck to the back of my Tombow. Four. Let's fold these in half. One. Two. Three. And four, and we'll stick these together again. We'll have one card one and one paper one as we work our way round. Doing alternate ones. Obviously, I am doing this much faster than you would do it if you were creating something like this at home. That one I think we will stick in that corner just there. And let's hold all that together and we put some glue on here and then we'll stick that bauble down in the bottom there. And then, where are you? Come on, open. Open it out. Like that. Shall we put a little bow on that one too? 
Now I think I could well go on to add some more of these little paper baubles in. I might put a few in here and in here. Um, so what I will do is I will continue to play with this because this is one of these projects that is a work in action. Um, but you get the general idea. So we've created that little frame. Um, I'll put that one on with a... I'll use another dimensional, seeing as my glue dots have gone walkies. So there we have a couple of little baubles in the corner there, our Merry Christmas, our beautiful papers. But I will carry on as I say and I'll find a few more of these baubles and I think I'm going to fill in a few more there. Perhaps put a couple up here and a couple of down there. Um, and add a few more elements into that and when I'm happy with it and I've finished it, um, I will share it and show you. But that does give you a little bit of an idea of something you can do that's a little bit different. Um, than just a card. So say you can make it into a huge big card. You could make that a card base on the back um, and have that as a big card or you could have it as a piece of, of home decor gracing your home this Christmas. So that is using those beautiful papers and making the most of that copper um, foiling. And then here's our little card that we made with the gold earlier and that sort of all adds in with our card that we made on Monday um, that was much brighter and more colourful and has now wandered off into the distance somewhere but um, I will share pictures of all of those with you to say so I shall carry on working on this and adding little bits to it and when I'm happy with it and I've completely finished I will um, I will share that with you I might even put another couple of 3D baubles on who knows but do enjoy baubles um, and because they are just fabulous and the fact that you can punch these out so quickly you can make lots of sort of little 3D embellishments and things because to stamp them and punch them or just punch them out of patterned paper um, works so much quicker than um, having to die cut lots of them. Um, so it is a real boost and having those two sizes is just fabulous and um, as I said the detail on those stamps are just absolutely stunning. So it is a fabulous suite um, and I know that it's one that I'm going to keep coming back to. Um, so I need to go off and finish getting my dinner um, or getting everybody's dinner um, but I will be back with you on Monday so in the meantime have a fabulous weekend. I hope you find lots of time to do some crafting um, and I will see you all soon.